It's often said that we shouldn't directly manipulate the HTML DOM in React applications. So let me explain why we shouldn't directly manipulate the HTML DOM in React. So here is one example and we have got this image, then previous and next buttons as you can see. Previous button is by default disabled. And if I click on the next, it will be enabled because there is an event handler. Okay. So previous button is enabled, but if I clicked on that, nothing happens. So basically React thinks that button is still disabled. So let me explain you why React thinks that the button is still disabled. So let me go to the code now. You can see that this previous button is by default disabled because of this particular attribute. And when I click on the next button, it is getting enabled. but how it is getting enabled is by direct HTML DOM manipulation. So you can see here, here I'm removing the attribute of the disabled attribute, right, from that element. But as you can see, I'm directly accessing that element and then calling this remove attribute method. So this is not the React way, okay? So this is called as direct DOM manipulation. So if you remove this disabled attribute, and the button gets enabled, but React is not aware about this change. And that is why it still thinks that the button is disabled. And when we click on that disable button, nothing happens. That is click handler is not working. So basically, when I click on the previous uh, link, it should show this alert box, but it didn't do anything. Basically, this event handler didn't get called at all. The reason being React is thinking that it is still in the disabled state, because that is what we told the React, right? In when the component got rendered, when the component got rendered, we are telling that it is in disabled state. We have directly manipulated and changed it to the enable state, but React is not aware of that because of direct manipulation. And that is why direct manipulation of the HTML DOM elements is not recommended or we shouldn't do it in React applications. So otherwise, we will get some absurd results. Now, how to fix this issue? To fix it, we can do it in two ways. First one is obviously recommended way that is by using the react state. So you have to use the state saying that, okay, the button has got one state, either it is disabled or enabled. So we can have that state true or false. And based upon that state, we can uh, make it disabled or enabled. Okay. So that way react will keep track of that particular element state. And that is the recommended way. That is how you should do it. Other ways that don't put disable right here because when you put this disable right here in this render function what happens is that react remembers that state and after the react is remembering that state if you directly manipulate that element state then react isn't aware of that so don't put it here so what you do is remove this from here and then use go to the use effect and then over there do something like this so here you can see that i'm making that element state is disabled and again, React isn't aware about this change because I'm doing it through the HTML DOM, okay? And in that case, then the problem will be fixed. But remember that that is not the recommended way. Recommended way is always put it in some kind of state. Thanks for watching.